Welcome to the Wolf Den. This is an unboxing alert. An unboxing alert. Alrighty, folks, I hope that all woke you up to the fact that it is another unboxing. And here it is, all the way from California this time, from Goy, G-U-I, Wang. Is that Goy or Guy, Wang, in Arcadia, California? So let's see what we got going on here. So, this is from America, not, not Japan, but who knows what who Goy Wang is. I would, ass I would assume, I'd ass just quickly assume he's Chinese. All right. Let me, uh, there we go. Hmm. 100 gram, five. 120 gram, five. Ha, hmm. Ha, hmm. Let's see the official unboxing Ooh. check it out check it out check it out out ow. what are these folks well some would call them Madai jigs I think is how they pronounce it and some just call them octopus jigs in a little box so let's take a look at which one first. Hmm, let's see. Let's see. How about this fire or fluorescent orange? Oh, these are octopus mundi jigs or mad eye jigs. They got the little hooks here. They got these little twister tailors. And they got this big, heavy octopus head. Now, what would you think you do with these? Well, I'll tell you, folks. You know, the old saying is the DOA shrimp invented by Mark Nichols. This is where you tie it off is the inshore do nothing rig he'll even tell you don't do anything to it don't do anything with it cast it out and let it just float along with the current well that's what these octopus mun mad eye or mud eye or m-a-d-a-i jigs is basically what they're referred to and what you do is you use these like a regular jig. The whole deal is, is the fact that you just go up and down, kind of just up and let all this flutter in the water to look like an octopus. Crazy colors, gets the fish's attention in clear water. We all know you go like way down to the bottom and you know, red turns to gray. So they, they actually, they, from what I gather and what I've heard some divers say is that greens stay green. So here's a silver slash greeny kind of colored. And I can say that I have actually seen these catch fish. 
Okay, these have actually caught fish. Just the last one I seen was caught by one of my guys on the boat, and he caught a trigger fish with it. These are usually really super sticky hooks. Whoa, yes they are. So, there you go. That's these. I think these are the heavy ones. They sure do feel heavy. Because you kind of want to stay as vertical, I think, as possible with these. All right, when you're sending them down. Get all these little tailies in there. I'm just kind of prepping myself. I've got a really fun customer. Um, but we've 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 always had fun, be it no matter where we're fishing. He's coming down from Georgia on uh, the twenty. He'll be on my boat on the twenty-first. So I wanted to make sure I hurry up and got these. Well, this is. Thunder jigs. These are for the four and a half ounce, 120 gram. And then basically I got the same thing over here. Same colors, same everything. Except in three and a half ounce at 100 grams. And I didn't know they were coming in this nice little case. Hmm. That sure is an eBay deal if I ever seen one, folks. So... I'm really happy. Came priority mail and everything. Only took a few days to get here from the day that I ordered them. But let's take a look again, just for the fun of it. Let's take a look at this kind of coppery colored one heel. Give you a... Now, these are from the company on eBay called All Tackle, I believe. Let's see. Nah, it's just got his name. I think it's All Tackle. And, um, has a very good selection, right, of these. And you can see, I've watched these personally catch. Whoa! Um, I've, I've heard these or saw these catch some serious fish on a channel that I watch on YouTube for a guy named Conrad over in Singapore. But every once in a while, good old Conrad even cheats and he takes a live shrimp and he pins them on here and he takes a live shrimp and he pins them on here. And the funny thing is, is what's that seem to look like? Looks like an octopus has grabbed him a few live shrimp. So, I'm sure these tails will eventually get eaten and everything. So, there you go. Let me see if I can get the light a little better for y'all. So, I'm just kind of gearing up. The nice thing about these is you don't have to do much. It's not like you have to be literally jigging. You can just pull up. These are great for drifting and you and you don't have to do much. You just lift up, drop down, lift up, maybe shake the rod a little bit and it's the color and just all these little tentacles and everything that really gets the fish's attention. Oh, one of the little separators here is already cracked. Oh well, no big deal. I will probably won't even keep it in these boxes. There you go. It's just an unboxing Thursday. That'll be cool on the next video. Offshore or somewhere, if I ever get decent weather, you may actually end up seeing these in action. Let's hope so. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. M.A. D-A-I jigs, I believe is what they're officially called, but then they're called thunder jigs here. Some people call them octopus jigs. There's all different flavors and stuff, and I just figured I'd try these people first. I might get some more. Now, this is from your tackle junkie, Captain Dave, in a wolf den.
Thanks for watching.